Hello everybody. You got an email from Google Play and in that email it says that your app has been removed from Google Play due to due to a policy violation. And the policy violation is in most of the emails is privacy policy violation. So, what is privacy policy violation and what can you do to remove it? So basically, privacy policy violation, for example, you are asking a user's uh, an access to user's camera or an access to phone book, or you are asking internet permission or reading his or her SMSs. This is the private information of the user. You have to specify your privacy policy to the user to access this information. So Google wants you to specify that privacy policy. And then after you specify that privacy policy, you have to put it to a place within your app that the user can easily access and understand. After you prepare your privacy policy, you will go to your Play Console and then select your app and then go to your store listing page and implement a link to your privacy policy. But the problem is how to prepare a privacy policy. Most of the app developers are not experts in computer law or that kind of stuff, but there is an easy way to prepare a privacy policy. In this video, that is what I will show you. Now we will go to a web page here, App Privacy Policy Generator, and I will put a link to that web page in my explanations of the video. But it is app privacy policy generator dot firebase firebase app dot com. So in this web page, you have to okay, let's clean this information. Now I will copy my app name from my email, copy and paste it there, and I copy then paste it there. Okay, now I will choose app type, which is a free app, app in my case, and I will choose developer type. For my case, it's an individual, and I will say, write my developer name here, and what kind of information I collect. For example, in my case, it's internet access. Okay, and I will have to choose my mobile operating system, which is Android. Additionally, on right hand side here, you can see that you can include some links to the privacy policy of other third party services. In, in my case, you can select Google Play services, and if you have ads, you have to add ad mob service privacy policy links also. Now, it is just a click. I will click on generate on left lower left corner. Now, my privacy policy is ready. As you can see, let's go to the button part. My privacy policy is ready and I can download it as HTML or I can select all and copy it. After I copied it, I have to put this privacy policy to my web page. I mean, the app developers web page on a specific web page called privacy policy for that app. It is very important that you should put it to a proper place. And additionally, you should put the link in your app and that that link should be easily accessible. You have to check, for example, Twitter or Instagram to see how privacy policy access is implemented. So if you do that, you will comply with Google Play rules and then your app will be uh, broadcast again. Have a good evening, everybody. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel.